And greetings once again, Primitive Earth Humans. Welcome back to another episode of Blightfall. <laughs> okay. Pretty scary place for sure. Again, this is a mod pack. It's been out for, yeah, I think, over a year. I, I just noticed it when I uh, decided to mess with the Technic Launcher, which I hadn't played with in quite some time. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know how long it's been out. Maybe a year, maybe more. But, uh, very interesting mod pack, very interesting sort of survival thing. Aha, as you can see, I got my, uh, Fast Leaf Decay mod working. It's the only mod so far that I've added to this mod pack. I don't know if I'll be adding too many other things. Oh, these purpley little flowery things suck very much, but they eventually grow and turn into these big square blocky looking plant things that when you bust them, a whole bunch of spiders come out. And attack, yeah, like that thing over there. Spider spawner things. Uh, about half a dozen little teeny tiny spiders that swarm and uh, bite the bejesus out of your bunghole. And that tentacle thing too is uh, quite an evil type thing. We shall be dealing with our asses later. But uh, in the meantime, oh, let's sleep real quick here. So I think in the last episode we did get a bit of a start there. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to need more wood. I always need more wood. We're going to put our stupid little badge away. <laughs> We're also going to take this stencil table, and uh, yeah, let's put these extra beds away too, we don't need those. I, I think all the extra beds and all the extra books and stuff here are just for, you know, this is a multiplayer map. You can play it multiplayer if you want, um, and I guess I'm going to have to find some lava to throw all these extra books into or something, because I don't need them. Would uh, much like to get rid of them. But, uh, yes, let's get us more wood. Well, first of all, take our stencil table and turn it into a little teeny tiny stencil table. And I think, mm -hmm. for now, I suppose, yeah, we'll just slap that sucker up right there. Keep our stuff nice and compact. Let's grow ourselves a tree, or two, or three, or however many we can get. Let's grow this little bastard right here. Come on, grow, 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 grow. There we go. And we'll grow another one here. Come on, come on. There we go. Get some more wood. Lovely, lovely wood. For the building of the stuffs and junk. There we go, a little extra. Extra wood on that one there. And apples. Apples is good for the chopping. Though I do prefer worms. Being an alien, I prefer worms. But I will have to make do with the disgusting one. Plant-based food. Okay. Let's uh, space these guys out a little bit. To, yeah, I suppose that's, that's probably a good spot for that one there. And let's put the other one over here maybe. So our saplings don't fall down in the hole. I have to go chase them, chase them down. So, okay. Real quick here. Let's just uh, take some of the wood, make more planks, and let's make a buttload of chests right now, because we need lots and lots of chests for the storing of the stuffs. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop that hunk of wood down right there. Sorry, tree. I know. I won't chop all of you down, just enough to have the space I need for the doing of stuffs. Okay, and yeah, we'll take that thing out of there. We'll stick a, to a torch or something up there, maybe. So, for the storing of the junks and stuffs, this one will open up even though there is leaves above it. So, we got a couple of storage places there, and I think other things, I'm going to put one little chest down there, and we'll put two here. Shift, in order to place that sucker. Uh, we'll put one there, I suppose, too. And we will have to bust out this hunk of wood. I'm going to stick all my saplings down in here. And, uh, mm -hmm. I think the bone meal at the time. You know, in fact, you know what I'm going to do instead? 
I can't make up my mind. I'm gonna put a chest over here. Or... Yeah, for storing all of our... Bone meal and stuff having to do with... The farming of stuffs and junk. Okay. Roof testicle. So, okay. What do we need to do right now? I think we can collect our daily bone meal... From the instructor menu. Give me that stuff. Bastard. Okay, and let's see. What is our next thing? We've got the sapling requested wood. We've uh, got our wood. We've already claimed that one. I need no tutorials. We did that because we know how to make Tinker's Construct tools. Uh, putting down roots at once. Us to uh, give them some bread uh, because we expect this, this land would be fertile. Our ready to eat food stores are limited. Corporal Driscoll can give you access to our emergency rations, but if we intend to establish a permanent uh, presence here, uh, here, we'll need to set up a stable food supply, see if you can get farming going. We've got seeds here on the jaded if you need them, but we're hoping the land is fertile enough that you can find some seeds. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Send us a loaf of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Groove testicle. So. It's very easy to do for the getting of the seeds without having to request them and, and lose a little bit of that stuff. We'll just throw some bone meal on the ground here. And, yeah, sure, we'll throw a little bit more over here. And we'll just smash a bunch of stuff. We get all kinds of different seeds. We've got Pam's Harvest Craft in here, so... We will get a variety of seeds, hopefully. That we got. What do we get there? Get some flowers, some pretty flowers there. Got some barley seeds, so groovy. I only got one seed from them. Two bone meal. The farting master just, uh, looks like we got ourselves another barley seed, and, uh, we'll just, uh, use up maybe, maybe use up the stack. Let's see if we can get a few more seeds. Looks like we got a wheat seed there, a couple wheat seeds. Three wheat seeds. Excelente, yes, yes, yes. Do it again. I hear a slime. Bouncing around. Oh, it looks like we got ourselves, yes, yeah, some cotton seeds. Excellent. That is how we were going to acquire string. And we can also make a lot of cotton. After a while, uh, eventually, some passive mobs will start to spawn in here and they'll get in our way quite a bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's another way to uh, farm the passive mobs and stuff too. One of the reasonably nearby locations. Um, it's a tiny little island over in the swamp biome area. Where we can go and uh, once we get a couple of... Uh, I suppose I'm getting ahead of myself, but once we get a few... Um, what you call them? Um, ethereal blooms, which are the things that make the taint, the stanky taint. Ethereal blooms make the stanky taint go away. Let's chop down an apple. And, uh, uh, we can acquire enough of them early on to head over, and it's over in that direction. Let's take a look at the map here. Boom, boom, boom. Just over here, this little island right here, we've got kind of a safe zone here. There's a tree here, and there's another little teleport beacon, so once we get there, we can just teleport back and forth to it. But this is the first little piece of land that I think is probably the easiest to, to clean all the taint off of. Maybe we could just, you know, take three or four of these, uh, ethereal blooms once we get them. And we'll find ethereal blooms at each of the spots where we find these trees. There's another one over here. And, uh, maybe you can just kind of sweep them forward until all the taint is gone. And then this whole chunk of land will spawn many, many mobs for us. Passive mobs. So we can get the meat and the moo juice and all of that wonderful stuff. So, okay. For now, we're going to put all this stuff in here. I think uh, we might as well set up another four wide area for farming over here. One, two, three, four. We can go uh, four blocks wide and the soil will remain hydrated. Eventually what I'm going to do once I've got uh, some iron for a bucket, I'm going to move this over to here so that we can use all four blocks over here. But we're just going to leave. And we've only got the one block of water. Water's pretty easy to get in this thing. 
once we do have a bucket. So let us take and sure we'll go ahead and put down some cotton seeds right now. And I already done screwed up one of my hooks. Oh land. <laughs> okay. Cotton seeds and barley. We will throw down that many barley is all we got. We got some regular seeds. We've got our wheat over here. Keeping things separate in their own little happy level spaces. And I suppose uh, <laughs> we're just going to have to use some of this bone meal. You don't have to actually break the crops anymore. You can just right click on them when they're fully grown. And get yourself some harvested wheat or barley or whatever. Now, there's two types of bread in this thing. There's the primitive bread, which we all know how to make primitive bread. Just three across there. That, however, is not what they want. They want the cooked kind of bread. So, let's just uh, see here. Um, what do we want? Uh, <laughs> and if we look at the recipe for this, still makes primitive bread. Um, we've got to cook the bread, I believe. Um, wheat is the thing we need. Uh, or no, flour. So how do we make the flour? We make flour with a mortar and pestle. And we just need a stick and a couple blocks of uh, something there. Do we got blocks of something? We've got one block of a day site right now. So I think what we're going to need to do... Oh boy. Oh yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, our flint mattock is not looking real good at the moment. Until we upgrade this sucker, at least. Um, do we have any flint? Nope, but we do have gravel. And what we're going to do with the gravel is we'll just lay this stuff out here. And whoops. And we'll just break these blocks until we get ourselves some, some flint. And you know what? starting to get dark too. I don't like the darkness, so I'm going to take three of these and make ourselves a few uh, torches. Nothing's going to harm us in this area here anyway, and you know, we're safe inside of our little dome. But uh, I just like uh, things to be uh, lighted up. Let's see what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Sweet, okay, so we got six pieces of flint. It's a good idea to spend a lot of time just, you know, busting down gravel and getting as much flint as you can these early stages so we can repair that sucker. I'm not going to waste a flint on such a low amount of a uh, condition right there. Well, we'll save it until that goes down a little farther. So, okay. Now, what, did, what else do we need? Looks like we need some more stone type stuffs. So we're just going to come down here and uh, we'll bust out some of the snow. We got a little slime down there. He wants to get us. <laughs> but he ain't gonna. Grab up some stone. And we're going to need to make ourselves a furnace as well. And we'll just kind of clear this out and make it nice and symmetrical and pretty. Couple more hunks. Haha, <laughs> sure how you are. Taint slime. Slimy taint. Okay. So now, we can make ourselves a furnace. This stuff will work act just like regular stone. Oops, didn't mean to put one in the middle there. So, furnace. We done got. I'm gonna slap that guy right down here for now, I think. And let's see. What do we need to make the flour? We need... Or to make the mortar and pestle. Yeah, a couple of uh, hunks of stone. I don't know if it'll work with the cobblestone. Uh, let's find out. We need some sticks. Grab some sticks. Put a stick up there and... Ding. 
Oops. Dink, dink, dink. Nope, we're gonna have to cook this stone. No problem. We will stick one, two, three hunks of stone in there. And, you know, for, of course, we can always make a charcoal, you know, with wood from our trees if need be. What's happening with all this crazy stuff over here? Ah, yes, we can see. Way over there. Those little flying, little glowing pink things, too. Little swarms of those things come at you. Mm -hmm. Evil bastards. And they suck much better because they have no bungs for which to probe. Which is quite vexing for an alien like myself. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. And there we go. Mortar and pestle. So, now all we gotta do is just uh, make a couple of hunks of flour. This thing never loses its condition, so um, you can continue to keep that. It's just like a cooking tool. Keep that in your supply of kitchen -y type stuff, which I'm gonna start putting all my food and stuff over here. So I think we'll go ahead and salt too will come in handy for certain foodie type recipes. Let's get rid of that. And, okay, yeah, as we can see, yeah, we've already eaten an apple. So, let's go ahead and eat another one, because as we can see, we got 96% nutritional value, eaten once in the last 200 hunger. If we eat another one, we will notice that it has gone down just a little bit, 91%. We can eat a few more apples, but we do need to get a more diverse food supply. So, let's throw some flour in our furnace, and we will get bread. Bread of the variety that they actually are looking for. The primitive bread, again, will not do. You just need want bread bread, just like that. So, okay. That should satisfy this dealio right here. We claim our reward, and we get plus five mission outlook. Swing daddy -o. okay. Now, cooking for blockheads. This is going to require, I think, uh, making the cooking table. Uh, which is nice because you can craft all these things without having to put things into the furnace automatically cooks it up There's another thing here with the Pam's harvest craft. Uh, let us take a look Pam's harvest craft Yes, all kinds of little utensils and things in here or um Or to cook in you know like the mortar and pestle. We've got uh, the skillet We've got uh, the saucepan. Different recipes will require that you craft some of those, and we're going to need iron for that. But uh, one of the things, let's see the cooking table. Here we go. We've got the uh, we've got a sink. We've got a whole kitchen full of crap here. <laughs> cooking table. I think. Uh, oh, what are we going to need? And we're going to need some stained clay. We don't have access to that just yet. Any kind of wood. And a cooking for blockheads books. Which are pretty pretty easy to make actually we just need a regular book and uh, this is the way we craft that with blank patterns some string and some paper here but uh, first we craft the uh, cooking for blockheads one then cooking for blockheads two and we can craft the cooking table but we do need to get some uh, clay and uh, over there in that little island here when we uh, clear that out uh, there's a couple of sources of clay over there and there's also uh, squiddlies that uh, spawn off the coast of that where we can get some some uh, ink sacks and we can stain the clay but the cool thing is and we'll need iron to make an iron door but you can make a fridge and when you put a fridge just to the left of your cooking table you can put all of your food in your fridge and then any recipes that you can cook with the available food items that you have in the fridge will automatically show up in the cooking table and you can just automatically pull items from that and uh and it will also show you, you know, how much nutrition each one gives you. But uh, I think we're good for now. With that, um, we'll go ahead and put our other apples away right now. And we'll switch to a different food source so we get the highest possible nutritional value. We'll get 100% the first time we eat it. Something like 96% next time around. And so forth. So, okay. I think up top here is where I'm going to keep a lot of this stuff for now. I'm going to keep that silver one. We are going to need it later. Let's go ahead and sleep. And I think by now might be a good time to return to the Jaded. So, and sometimes you get a little damagey thing 
Whoa. Take a couple of hits for some reason during the teleportation process, and then we can come back here and go back down. But yeah, we can we can pretty much come back to the jade at any time we want. And in the first episode, if you remember, I I did a little patronizing chit chat with uh, Captain Shitake there, Captain Captain Shit Take, I like to call him, <laughs> and he said he would give us food, which he just did. Captain Shitake. Captain should take you. you deserve the Sailor Pet 13. And what did he give us? He gave us a box of food. So yeah, once you do that little thing and you just kind of chit chat with him, um, give it a day or so down on the planet and come on back up. He gives you a box of food, and it doesn't cost you any anything on your uh, mission reputation there. So we got ourselves a little box of food. It's not the best food. But, uh, you know, we'll slap her down uh, right here for now. Um, uh, quite a variety of foods, though. And, uh, of course, uh, none of these are really going to give you a whole big boost. So we're going to try and uh, not uh, run our hunger down too far here. And uh, well, once we go through all that different food, by the time we've gone through all this, we'll have uh, created some new food sources. So, I think uh, what we're going to need to do right now is um, I'm going to grab some torches here and use the torch trick to harvest up some of these here uh, lumps of gravel. And yeah, if you break a piece of gravel and you throw a torch down before the ones on top fall, it will automatically bust those guys out. Oop, I missed it. Yep, oh, damn it. Too early. There we go. And yes, that's a nice quick way to harvest the gravel. So we can get more flint, which we're going to need. Where'd that slime go? Bastard. Oh, the much butt that he sucks. Okay. So I think uh, right now let's take a look at our quest book. And where we're we at. Uh, we can make... Uh, Toast is pretty easy to make. Um, you just throw, I think, the bread um, back into the furnace and you will get toast. Um, but uh, we haven't uh, used any bread yet. Uh, maybe we'll do that a little bit later. Where to mine? Uh, let me see. Did we get that book yet? Oops. Yeah, come back here. Yeah, we got the mining and resources book. Let me take a quick look at that. And... It's basically going to tell us where to find um, most things, you know, like uh, certain biomes. For instance, endstone is only going to be found on this one island. Um, a lot of these entries are going to remain locked until we uh, acquire some other thing that unlocks them. Tacking up, let's see, we've got uh, our flint pickaxe. Or at least I thought we did. I think what we did is we screwed up <laughs> and we built our uh, flint pickaxe before. <laughs> oh boy, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take this flint. Uh, you should submit to the quest, I think, before. Oh, we left a piece of flint in there anyway. So, crap, we're going to have to waste a couple of hunks of. That's just one hunk of flint, I guess. No problem. We can waste it just to submit for the, for the quest. A measly one point there. Now, copper. <laughs> okay. For some reason, they won't let us uh, use certain materials to build a tool. So, getting past Mandate 2625B, you know, Executive Mandate 2625B only prohibits the construction of gold, iron, stone, wood, and diamond tools, copper, and most other conventional metals can all be crafted into tools just as normal. And making tools the normal way means... They can be enchanted on an enchanting table. It also makes them look cooler. <laughs> Eventually, we'll also be able to melt metals down in the smeltery and make them the Dr. Dino's way, you know, which is basically Tinker's Construct. Uh, that way uses less material and makes the tool easier to upgrade and repair. It's up to you to determine which is better. Okay, so that's uh, what we're going to need that in order to uh, get the soft metals and things like that. So, but I think uh, right now, pretty much all we can do is we can mine stone 
and uh, we can mine uh, things like uh, oh, what do you call it? Yeah, we can we can mine the uh, coal and a few other things, but we're not going to be able to mine. I think we can mine the iron ore with our flint pickaxe, but that's pretty much it when we get to, to finding gold and things like that. Uh, not so much. <laughs> we can't really uh, do anything with that um, until we get uh, get ourselves uh, the copper pickaxe or one of the other uh, things. So, but what they're talking about here is look at the pickaxe recipes and your normal. Uh, pickaxe cannot be crafted. Here's these ones in the red cannot be crafted. But if we go to something like uh, a bronze pickaxe, we can craft that the normal way, which would be just two sticks and like uh, three blocks here. As you can see, we can't craft a stone pickaxe. So, having to do things the hard way. But I think one thing we should probably do is we're going to Go ahead and head over here and establish our little uh, beacon over there, our little teleportation thing. And get ourselves another source of food because there'd be all kinds of aminals over there. <laughs> I think one of the things we're going to have to do first is make ourselves a weapon. So, and I think all we've got really right now is flint, so let's make ourselves a flint sword. The only material we have that we can repair stuff with. Um, what else do we need for a broadsword? We need uh, one of these. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Wide guard pattern. Okay. And we'll just make that out of stone. Sure, we'll go ahead and do that. And we just need a tool rod. Which we'll use that last piece of stone shard for that. We gotta have some kind of a <laughs> defense before we head over there. And hopefully it will last long enough for us to <laughs> actually be able to uh, kill enough monsters. And again, um, we're gonna earn experience every time we use these tools, so... Um, the bullet pickaxe, and we may have to make a second one anyway, because one of these pickaxes we're going to upgrade uh, once we get to uh, the higher level the higher tier materials that let us uh, mine things like gold and diamond and things like that. But for now, uh, this is what we got. Um, we'll go ahead and carry this stuff with us. I don't think, as I recall, I don't think you lose any materials as you, uh, if you die in this. But, uh, of course, we do not want to be dying. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and rearrange our stuff. We've got a few torches here. Let's put away the stuff we don't really need to carry with us. We'll put away our bone meal and the gravel on the day site. Eh, I don't really care about that so much. We're going to put our flint back in our tool station for the repairing of stuffs. And, okay, so what we're going to need to do is I think I build ourselves a boat. We're going to have to run like hell <laughs> to the water as quick as we can. And another thing, too, since we used bone meal to get ourselves some barley seeds, you know, on the way uh, running to the water, you can grab up some barley seeds over there. Hey, there's a cow that hasn't turned uh, all tainty. How the hell did he do that? <laughs> but we don't really need to grab that barley, because we're good. We did it the uh, awesome way, by using bone meal. So, okay, let's build ourselves a boat. We will turn this into planks. And we got ourselves a boat there. It, it, it. And oh, another thing we're going to want to do <laughs> is make ourselves a door. Because what we're going to have to do here is cut a hole in our thing. And okay, let's do that real quick. We shall place our door, I suppose, right there like that. And let's grab our boat. <laughs> And oh boy, we're going to have to run like hell. Mm, not too many scary critters to see us at the moment, but let's get out here and go for it. And if we sprint and keep jumping, I suppose the less time we spend in contact with the actual ground here, 
I suppose I could have ran past and, uh, move and grab that barley. Because we could certainly use it to make stuff with that. Uh, okay, we've got a swarm chasing after us. I think we're far enough away that, is it still chasing us? It does appear to be chasing us. Okay, let's get in our boat real quick. Oh, what happened to our boat? Shit, our boat died. Uh-oh, and this thing's coming after us. Die, 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 die. <laughs> we'll just keep smacking it until it dies. Even though it's a swarm of stuff, I don't know how the hell <laughs> we're supposed to be able to kill it <laughs> with a sword. Is this just glowing orb type things? And there we go. It dropped some slime, but I'm not going to bother with the slime right now. I could pick it up and submit it for one of our quests, but... And what happened to our boat? Our boat just freaking disappeared. I tried to put it down, but that's okay. We're safe in the water, I think. Might as well chomp on some bread. As we can see, this is all we have to do is just make it to this thing over here. And we've got a cow. Cow in the water. <laughs> you go into the cage. Cage goes into the water. Cow in the water. <laughs> you ever seen a cow's eyes? Cow's got dead eyes, lifeless eyes, like a doll's eyes. Okay. And we can see here. Padroom, padroom. Now that sucker. Twing! And we got mushroom edges. Mushroomages is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Over here. All kinds of mushrooms. Sweet, so we can maybe make ourselves a giant mushroom. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to do to get it dark enough to do that. But, uh, we're gonna take these ethereal blooms too. So I'm gonna throw down a couple of, a couple of torches just to light this area up. And fortunately, there are no tainted animals here. Let's grab up these mushrooms real quickly before the taint starts poisoning the bejesus out of us. And we'll throw a torch down there. This is all going to go back into tainted land because we took away that ethereal bloom. But it will stay clear over here because of the silverwood tree. So, sweet. And now all we've really got to do here is we right click this guy. And as it says, a teleport to Swamp Delta is now unlocked. So, Schwing daddy, let us go ahead and just teleport back home. Cool, so we now have um, established at least one place we can go back to. As we can see, we can click the Swamp Delta now and teleport right back here anytime we need to. I'm going to grab the rest of these mushrooms. Eh, 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 get me, get me. And maybe, well, well the tank gets me. Trees, too, is another thing that uh, can very easily be tainted and turned into horrible, horrible things. So, let's get these guys chopped down while we can before they turn into horrible, taint tainted things. And the taint's getting us right now, but that's okay. We can jump up on top of this log and be cool up there. Swing daddy -o. These things. These things are evil. We want to destroy them when we can. And, oh, we've got pumpkins, too. Sweet. So we can grow ourselves some pumpkins now. Grab those suckers up. And we've got ourselves a little bit of, uh... Yeah, sugar cane, which is another thing we're definitely going to be needing. Chop this sucker down. And, as we can see, we've got... Eh, we are stuck. We've got a, a source of sand over here, too. A little bit. But there are sand biomes as well. Where we can be getting even more sand from... This little bastard here. Will eventually turn into one of them swarm bushes. So let's kill it. Kill it with fire. Okay. Oof, oof, oof. And I do done be tainted. Okay. Good enough. Let's get the hell out of here. And not be too greedy. Oh, I suppose we'll grab all this stuff up. 
Sure, we'll take the saplings and all the stuff. Especially them apples. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. Bust these guys down when you can, so that they don't grow into horrible taint plant things. I think enough, we will head home. Home daddy and we used up quite a bit of our, our foodiness. And uh, that thing, gonna have to deal with that fairly soon. So real quick, let us, uh, let's see, I guess we'll have to eat some apples. Let's see, we've acquired a few, a few new things here. I guess we'll eat two apples. And, uh, yeah, so now we can grow ourselves some mushrooms. Maybe we'll do that in the next one. We can plant some of this here sugar cane. I believe we can probably do that now. And, sure, you can plant it on, on just the dirt blocks. You don't necessarily have to plant it on, uh, the sand blocks. From what I understand, too, that, uh, I've seen several people say that it doesn't really grow any faster on the sand. It grows at the same rate, but, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I think that's going to pretty much do it for this episode. And there, our boat just magically reappeared. Strange. I guess you have to stand on the shore before you launch that thing. But we got our boat back, even though we had to get by without using it. We'll toss that sucker in there. But uh, we'll sleep, sleep the night away. And uh, work towards our next goals in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please do remember to rate, comment, share, subscribe, and always obey your alien overlords. Or you will be broke in your bubble. <laughs> now once again, this is AliaBet13, signing off, probably later.